Hey everypony, I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July and follow proper fireworks safety guides. Let's go to Silverquill and see how he's doing. But enough about that, let's talk about My Little Pony amending fences, and all I have to say is thank you. Thank you so much, M.A. Lawson. Considering the last two episodes we got were about Spy committing fraud and the Yaks having a tantrum, it was nice to see an episode that managed to have a call back to the very first episode of the entire show and focus on Twilight reconnecting with some of her old friends from way back in Canterlot. So after a long day's work, it's time to unwind and talk about the ironic fact that Twilight is the princess of friendship, but considering that her social skills back in Canterlot were second to none, she would be the least likely candidate to give friendship advice. This actually causes Twilight to consider the feelings of those she left behind back in Canterlot and decides to amend some old friendships. So one flight later, we get a blast from the past with Twilight's old room in Canterlot still in the same way she left it, but sadly her memories aren't what they used to since she forgot all the names of her old friends. But hey, considering all the crazy shenanigans that has happened in the past, it's easy to forget small details. So with the help of Spike, the first stop is Minuet, or as the fans call her, Colgate, and she is delighted to see Twilight again and so are her other friends, Twinkle Shine and Lemon Hearts. There's also Lyra and Moondancer, but we'll get into them later. So the group does some catching up and decide to take a trip down memory lane back when they were young, and we find out that Twilight wasn't the only one glued to the books, and this is where it gets interesting. Apparently, Moondancer and Twilight were both heavily invested in their studies, which is a nice parallel between these two, but also highlights what could have been Twilight if she was without friendship. So it's revealed that the events in the premiere not only changed Twilight's future, but Moondancer's as well. Twilight was invited to Moondancer's party, but declined from the offer. Twilight tries to make amends with Moondancer, but is uninterested at her attempts, until Twilight demonstrates some magic spells which gets her interested. So after some bartering, Moondancer agrees to spend some time with her old friends, but to little avail. After realizing what her absence has caused to Moondancer, Twilight enlists the help of Pinkie Pie to throw another party to make up for it. So after getting Moondancer to come to the party unknowingly, she reveals what it was like to have a confidence broken after Twilight didn't show up and leaving town without saying goodbye. And I have to admit, I almost cried at this scene. This is a very relatable situation to both kids and adults as Moondancer felt unimportant after Twilight left and while she did have other friends, they soon began to leave her alone since she never responded to their invites. So obviously she would isolate herself to her studies and it makes you wonder if this is what could have happened to Twilight if she never moved to Ponyville. So Twilight admits her mistakes in the past to Moondancer but that doesn't mean she should stop making friends altogether. After some apologies are exchanged, the party begins and Twilight agrees to come visit more often and Moondancer is now more extroverted. So overall, I absolutely loved the episode. It was well structured and the pacing felt natural, as well as the conversation between Twilight and her old friends. The lesson in today's episode was the strongest and most relatable one thus far. You shouldn't forget the friends you've made and you should always find time for them because you never know when you'll ever have time for them again. It's not a goodbye, but more of a till I see you again. The episode also had some impressive moments with Twilight's magic abilities, and her attempts to reconnect her friendship with Moondancer didn't come off as pestering, unlike Pinkie Pie and Cranky Doodle. And speaking of Pinkie Pie, I felt her purpose in the episode was well executed. Also, I noticed a pony that looks like Starlight Glimmer in the corner of the restaurant upon my second viewing of the episode. I'm not sure if that's just a pony with the same color as Starlight Glimmer, or if it's a hint at the events coming in the season finale. Or this could just be Emmy Lawson trolling us, considering he wrote both episodes. Either way, it was worth mentioning. I couldn't really find any issues with the episode other than some minor details, so I'm giving this episode a 9 out of 10. I hope we see more of Twilight's friends in the future, as well as them interacting with Twilight's other friends. Hopefully Lyra will have a chance in the future, seeing as though she just got reduced to a picture and a flashback cameo. That's all I have to say for now, so let me know what you all thought about the episode in the comments below. As always, I'm Record, and I watched it, and you can too. The magic of true friendship is greater than your study. There's only one way to learn the meaning of friendship. You'll leave your life much less sternly and open up a bit. Twilight Sparkle.